Hi, welcome to Professional Certifications Channel. Let's break down RHI exam, one topic a day for focused and effective learning. Today's topic is fraud and abuse in healthcare. 1. What is healthcare fraud and abuse? Let's start with the basics what exactly are fraud and abuse in the context of healthcare? Fraud refers to any intentional act of deception or misrepresentation made by an individual or organization to obtain an unauthorized benefit, such as receiving payments or compensation for services not provided or inflating bills to get higher reimbursements. On the other hand, abuse refers to practices in healthcare that result in unnecessary costs or wasteful use of resources, but may not involve intentional deception. Abuse can occur when services are provided or billed inappropriately but without the deliberate intent to defraud. Both fraud and abuse are harmful to healthcare systems, as they increase costs, undermine trust, and reduce the quality of care for patients. These actions violate laws and regulations and can result in severe penalties, including fines, loss of licensure, and even criminal prosecution. 2. Examples of Healthcare Fraud Healthcare fraud can take many forms and understanding the most common types is critical for preventing and identifying these illegal practices. Let's explore some key examples of healthcare fraud. 1. Billing for services not provided. One of the most common types of fraud is billing for services or procedures that were never actually performed. In this case, a healthcare provider may submit claims for treatments, tests, or procedures that were not provided to the patient, inflating the bill to receive higher reimbursements. 2. Upcoding. Upcoding occurs when a healthcare provider bills for a more expensive service than what was actually provided. For example, a provider might bill for a higher level evaluation or procedure when a lower cost service was actually performed, leading to increased reimbursements. 3. Kickbacks and referrals. Another form of healthcare fraud involves kickbacks, where healthcare providers receive payments or incentives in exchange for referring patients to specific providers, services, or medical equipment. These kickbacks are illegal under laws like the Anti-Kickback Statute and compromise the integrity of medical decision-making. 4. Falsifying medical records. In some cases, providers may falsify medical records to justify unnecessary treatments or to obtain higher reimbursements. This could involve altering patient diagnoses, creating fake patient charts, or fabricating test results. 5. Unbundling services. Unbundling is when a provider separates services that should be billed together under one code and bills each service separately to increase the total reimbursement. For example, if a procedure includes multiple steps that should be billed as a package, unbundling those steps for individual reimbursement is considered fraud. 3. Examples of Healthcare Abuse While healthcare abuse may not always involve the same level of intent as fraud, it can still lead to significant financial and operational consequences. Let's look at some common examples of healthcare abuse. 1. Providing unnecessary services. Healthcare abuse can occur when providers perform services that are not medically necessary. This could involve ordering excessive tests, treatments, or procedures that provide little or no benefit to the patient, leading to higher costs without improving health outcomes. 2. Overutilization of resources. Overutilization is another form of abuse, where providers use more healthcare resources than are necessary. For example, admitting patients to the hospital when outpatient care would have been sufficient or keeping patients in the hospital longer than needed are forms of resource overutilization. 3. Misusing billing codes. While fraud involves intentional misuse of billing codes, abuse can occur when providers unintentionally use incorrect codes, resulting in higher reimbursements. This may happen due to lack of knowledge or training, but it can still result in improper billing and increased costs for insurers and patients. 4. Improper billing for services. Abuse can also include billing for services at inappropriate levels or billing for services that don't match the patient's medical condition. While this may not be done with malicious intent, it results in inflated costs and wastes healthcare resources. 5. Excessive charges. Charging excessively for services or medical equipment that is available at lower, reasonable costs is another form of healthcare abuse. 
This practice often targets patients who are unaware of the appropriate costs for their treatments or devices, leading to higher out-of-pocket expenses. 4. Laws and Regulations Addressing Fraud and Abuse To combat healthcare fraud and abuse, several laws and regulations have been established to ensure that healthcare providers, organizations, and insurers are held accountable. Let's explore some of the key laws that govern fraud and abuse in healthcare. 1. The False Claims Act FCA The False Claims Act is one of the most powerful tools used to fight healthcare fraud. Under the FCA, individuals or organizations that knowingly submit false claims for reimbursement from federal healthcare programs, such as Medicare or Medicaid, can face significant penalties. This law also allows whistleblowers to report fraud and share in any financial recovery. 2. The Anti-Kickback Statute, AKS, the Anti-Kickback Statute makes it illegal for healthcare providers to receive any form of payment or incentive in exchange for referrals of services covered by federal healthcare programs. Violations of the AKS can result in criminal penalties, including fines and imprisonment. 3. The Stark Law, also known as the Physician Self-Referral Law. The Stark Law prohibits physicians from referring patients to healthcare services in which the physician or a family member has a financial interest. This law aims to prevent conflicts of interest and ensure that referrals are made based on the patient's medical needs rather than financial gain. 4. HIPAA, Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act While HIPAA is primarily known for protecting patient privacy, it also includes provisions that address healthcare fraud. HIPAA's fraud enforcement provisions target anyone who defrauds healthcare programs, focusing on protecting patient data and preventing fraudulent billing practices. 5. Civil Monetary Penalties Law, CMPL The Civil Monetary Penalties Law gives the Office of Inspector General, OIG, the authority to issue penalties for a variety of fraudulent activities, including submitting false claims, offering kickbacks, or violating the terms of federal healthcare programs. Penalties can range from fines to exclusion from participation in federal health care programs. 5. The Impact of Fraud and Abuse on Healthcare Fraud and abuse have far-reaching consequences that affect health care costs, patient care, and trust in the system. Let's discuss some of the ways fraud and abuse impact the healthcare industry. 1. Increased health care costs Fraud and abuse contribute to rising health care costs by inflating claims and billing for unnecessary services. These extra costs are passed on to taxpayers, insurers, and patients through higher premiums, increased out-of-pocket expenses, and higher taxes. 2. Reduced quality of care. When providers engage in fraudulent or abusive practices, the focus shifts from delivering quality care to maximizing financial gain. This can result in overtreatment, undertreatment, or inappropriate care, all of which harm patient outcomes and trust in the healthcare system. 3. Strain on healthcare resources. Fraudulent and abusive practices lead to the misuse of limited healthcare resources. For example, providing unnecessary treatments or hospitalizations takes time, attention, and resources away from patients who truly need care. This contributes to inefficiencies and delays in the healthcare system. 4. Erosion of public trust. When patients and the public become aware of fraud and abuse in the healthcare system, it undermines trust in healthcare providers and organizations. Patients may become skeptical of the care they receive, leading to reluctance to seek medical attention or follow recommended treatments. 5. Legal and financial consequences for providers. Healthcare providers and organizations found guilty of fraud or abuse can face severe legal and financial penalties, including fines, imprisonment, and exclusion from participation in government healthcare programs like Medicare and Medicaid. This can result in loss of revenue, damaged reputations, and even the closure of healthcare facilities. 6. Preventing fraud and abuse in healthcare. Preventing fraud and abuse is critical for maintaining a fair and effective healthcare system. Let's explore some best practices that healthcare providers and organizations can implement to prevent fraudulent and abusive practices. 1. Implement strong compliance programs. Healthcare organizations should develop and enforce comprehensive compliance programs that include policies and procedures to detect, prevent, 
and address fraud and abuse. Regular training for staff on compliance requirements, ethical behavior, and billing practices is essential for preventing violations. 2. Use audits and monitoring. Regular audits and monitoring of billing practices, patient records, and claims submissions can help identify and correct potential fraud or abuse early. Automated systems can flag unusual billing patterns or service volumes that may indicate fraudulent or abusive practices. 3. Encourage whistleblowers and reporting. Encouraging employees, patients, and partners to report suspected fraud and abuse without fear of retaliation is crucial for detecting and addressing violations. Whistleblower protection laws ensure that those who report wrongdoing are protected from discrimination or retaliation. 4. Stay informed about regulations. Healthcare providers and administrators should stay up to date on the latest laws and regulations related to fraud and abuse. Continuous education and awareness ensure that staff understand the legal requirements and consequences of violating healthcare regulations. 5. Foster an ethical culture. Cultivating a culture of ethics and integrity in healthcare organizations helps prevent fraud and abuse. Leaders should set the tone for ethical behavior and ensure that all staff prioritize patient care and compliance with regulations over financial incentives. Conclusion in conclusion, healthcare fraud and abuse are serious issues that undermine the integrity of the healthcare system, drive up costs, and harm patient care. By understanding the laws, identifying common types of fraud and abuse, and implementing preventative measures, healthcare providers can protect their organizations and ensure that patient care remains the top priority.